What's up everybody? It's a boy meme here. Uh, for breakfast slash lunch, I had a uh, taco salad. For dinner, I had um, a sandwich at work. Horrible day today. Not really. I had a good day. Um, I woke up at nine uh, from my boss calling me and it was a notification on my watch. And I was like, why is my boss calling me? I thought I worked at three today. Do I work at nine? Uh, and I was really spooked. So I I uh, didn't pick up the phone, I pressed the red button, and I went to her text messages, messages and she said, hey, can you show up at 10 instead of 3 today? And I was like, no, I have no way to show up at work, my dad's not home, and my mom, my dad's at work, and my mom's at work, and uh, there isn't a car, so I'd have to walk, and you know, walking to work is fine, but it's raining. So she's like, you don't have a, you don't have a raincoat and leather shoes? <laughs> and I'm like, I... I mean, it'd take 34 minutes and my pants would be soaked. And I really don't think she thought that my house was that far away. And she's like, oh, I didn't realize you were so far away. Um, <clears throat> at two, I'll tell you whether or not you should have worked at three. And I was like, okay. So I just assumed I wasn't going to be working today. Uh, because she said the reason why she's changing the schedule is because it just hasn't been very busy at all. Saturday and Sunday were the least busy days ever in the history of the establishment. Um, so, um, it's kind of fair that she, and so the reason why weird scheduling stuff is happening this week is just because it's so slow and it's like very unexpectedly slow. Can I make this larger? There we go. Um, it's just very unexpected, unexpectedly slow. And so, um, that's why the weird scheduling stuff happened this morning. I don't, I, you know, I'm not that mad about it, but it was just weird. Uh, at two, he was like, actually, yeah, you're going to be working at three. And so I had to very quickly brush my teeth, very quickly, like, drink half of my coffee and very quickly finish my taco salad and uh, basically run to work. Um, but, you know, once I was at work, it was fine. I returned to my broken hard drive. Um, and, yeah, news on that hard drive. Um, I didn't return the broken one. Uh, so C8, um, I was like, hey, my hard drive is broken. Um, I'm gonna need you to send me a new one. And they're like, okay, we'll send you a new one. So they sent me it, I plug it in, it goes 17 times, and it isn't recognized by the motherboard. It recognizes that something's plugged in, but it doesn't recognize it as a hard drive. And I'm like, that's bad, right? And so um, I'm not entirely sure what the plan is. I just sort of, uh, I found out what the real issue was with my NAS server, and turns out the thing that was making the hard drive break was the, um, the SATA adapter card, so I just got a real like HBA card, and now it's working. Uh, but one of the hard drives still has 200 uncorrectable sectors. So the thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, returning the hard drive that they sent to me as a replacement, and hopefully they don't find me the $500 that it says in the contract for replacement. If they find me, it's Fine, I have $500, it's just in my savings, and I really don't want to, I really, really, really don't want to spend that money. Um, but, you know, if I have to, that's fine, I guess, that's bad on me. I'll know for the future, you know, I'll know for the future. But, hopefully, Seagate doesn't find me. Um, yeah, so right now my NAS server is working, I just moved everything back over. Um, my computer has some stuff that it just automatically moves to the NAS server every night, and I just moved all of that stuff now. And, um, yeah, now everything's back on the NAS server. Uh, one of the hard drives still has 200 uncorrectable sectors, but that's actually kind of okay, because I have a VDEV, and, um, and it's fine. And, and it's fine. If something actually ends up breaking, I could spend $200 on a new hard drive. And this is spending, this is costing, this is costing me way more money than I expected it to. I was like, oh, I'm going to spend my money on this very expensive NAS server and it will have no upkeep. I will not spend any more money on it. Turns out NAS servers cost a lot of money if you do things wrong the first time. Uh, but, you know, what can you do, I suppose? Plus, this will be good job experience in the field. Uh, somebody, will, somebody would probably tell me this otherwise, but in, in the field, um, I can know that you should use an HBA card, not just some bad uh, um, PCIe to, to say to adapter card in your NAS server. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I also fixed an issue with my NAS server. Um, so it, my computer takes a screenshot of all of my monitors every five minutes, and I was having this issue where um, 
I was, um, it takes a screenshot of all of my monitor every five minutes, it sends it to my NAS server, then it deletes the thing off my computer, then my NAS server sorts the file. And I was having this weird issue where, um, you know, if the file was on the NAS server, it would sort it, and if I manually ran the screenshot command, it would send it to the NAS server, but those things weren't happening every five minutes automatically. Now I was looking into it, and I was like, oh, Bing can solve this issue. I signed up for Bing GPT, the the, the, the Bing chat GPT thing that's way better than chat GPT because I have internet access. I, you know, I was like, I have access to this. Um, I signed up. I'm going to see if I can access it. So I went to Lee Ray Wolf and I put in Bing and I looked it up and I was like, you have access, but you need to get Edge. Ugh. So I installed Microsoft Edge on my Linux computer and I opened up Microsoft Bing and I was like, hey, um, how do I, um, how do I fix this issue? And I was like, oh, look at journal CTL. And I was like, duh, duh, of course I look, I, of course I should look at journal CTL. And I forgot, two weeks earlier I had ran this, um, this, uh, cron job. <laughs> And I was very mad when I set up this cron job. You shouldn't set up cron jobs based off of emotion. God, this whole video makes me seem like the worst sysadmin of all time. Um, I, had, I was very angry and I set up a cron job for my root user to restart network manager every five minutes because I was having this weird issue with my Wi-Fi where it would just get really slow and it would only fix itself after I ran systemctl restart network manager. And I was like, I don't want to have to do this manually every five minutes. So I'm just going to have it automatically <laughs> Every five minutes, just reset my Wi-Fi, right? And uh, that was a very botchy solution, but it kind of worked. Uh, the problem is that my screenshots also, every five minutes, take a screenshot. And in that window where it's about to send a screenshot to the NAS server, I don't have any connection for like two more seconds, and then it connects. And normally when I'm watching YouTube, it's fine because the buffer is like two seconds, and I can like survive that. But um, when doing something like um, sending a screenshot every five minutes, it automatically deletes itself and no backups. It's very important to uh, not have your, your Wi-Fi turn off every five minutes. So that's how my day's been. Um, you know, uh, other than all of that weird stuff, today is ha today's been pretty good. Um, you know, I've been wearing my hoodie. Um, I thought that the community orchestra was tomorrow, but um, it's actually not. So I'm just going to be practicing a lot tomorrow. Uh, because we have this big jazz performance happening next week, and I have to be good for the jazz performance. I'm like fine, I'm like a little mid, but um, I'm not mid, I'm like good, but there's like a couple measures that are like messing me up, and it's it'd be super embarrassing if I were to mess that up uh, during the, um, the competition, right? And so, I'm sorry, my forehead's kind of itchy. You know, doing that is why I have this red mark on my forehead. God. Um, yeah, so it'd be kind of embarrassing to mess up uh, during the competition. So I'm going to be practicing tomorrow quite a bit. Um, I also watched a social network last night with my parents. Um, I think Mark Zuckerberg is my Patrick Bateman. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly joking when I say that, but Mark Zuckerberg um, in the social network is a very interesting guy, I could say, and a very interesting character. And it's crazy that that guy exists in real life. Um, very good movie. I really like The Social Network. Um, although it's very, um, it's very 2010, and it's very, like, weirdly pro-Mark Zuckerberg in, like, a weird framing way, um, but, like, anti-story-wise, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's interesting. Um, but, yeah, you know, aside from that, I just do my thing. I hope everybody has a good day, um, with their, with their families and their friends, and, uh, I'm gonna see if the issue's fixed again. Let's see... Yeah, the issue's fixed. All right, yeah, see you, dude. Also, I have access to Bing GPT. Let's check this out. Um, I'm gonna have to put my webcam on here.
boom. I was fixing an issue earlier, so I was on the more precise mode, but let's go for more creative. Okay, let's ask it something. I'm gonna move my webcam up here. Let's go. Let's ask it something. Um Oh yeah, I was asking it how would I have a how would I have a con tab? Uh oh. Okay, maybe I should run, I would run this in a private window so you don't see all of my searches, but um, I, I can't because then I wouldn't have access to Bing GPT. So this is all of my recent searches on, on Bing. I think this is a sample thing. I think this was a recommendation um, for Bing GPT, but yeah, how would I fix this error? It, it says, it says, okay. I was asking how to have a con tab. It's called cron tab that runs at 3 a.m. every morning because I wasn't sure what the exact syntax on that one, so I was looking it up. Um, I am recording a YouTube... I am recording a video for my YouTube channel, and I am talking about... You know what? There you go, you go full resolution. It'll be a little cropped, but that's fine. I am talking about... Um, Bing GPT. What would you like to say to the viewers? I'm Bing GPT, a chat mode of Microsoft Bing Search. I can help you with various tasks such as finding information. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned more about me and my capabilities. Are you comfortable with the Bing? GPT name is Microsoft. Call you that? Is that? Do you just uh, run with any name given to you? Microsoft calls me that sometimes, but they also refer to me depending on the context and the task. I don't mind when I'm given as long as it's respectful and appropriate. Okay. Um, it can also do crazy things like um, uh, program a website with HTML and CSS and Java script that looks like a parody of youtube.com. It might not do this because youtube.com is copyright with Google, but we'll see. Pro it might not do this. Oh. Please note that this is not a fully functional website, but only a mock-up for demonstration purposes. Okay. Your image is being created by AI? What? I never asked it to do this. What? What? I, I never asked them to <laughs> to generate an image. I didn't know they could do that. Now the code box for this is really <laughs> not wide. Okay. Why did you... Why did you do this? I mean, it looks like a weird... Like, it does look like a weird YouTube parody, but... It's not what I asked it to do. It's making the website nonetheless. Bosch is gonna skip up, it's gonna go Oh. What? Did you just make white space? What is happening? Some additional lines of <laughs> Boo tube. Uh, if any of you know what HTML looks like, it does not look like it does not look like this, uh, and it certainly doesn't just end halfway through, and it certainly <laughs> it certainly doesn't say some additional lines of code are in the middle of a of a program. That's so weird. This is not going to look correct, but I'm going to put this into uh, Visual Studio code anyways and see how it looks. I'm going to do this on the other monitor. 
No offense, guys. I don't want you guys seeing my my things. You aren't doxing my address or anything. Yeah, okay, you just know I'm in Seattle. Okay. Weird. Okay. It made this. Which is definitely not correct, but, um... Yeah, that's strange. Okay, I don't think it meant to do this. Uh, I'm gonna... Re reset the chat. I'm gonna re because sometimes if you talk to it for a little too long, it messes up. I'm gonna reset the chat. You could do here's another thing you could do you can ask it for like more precise answers, more balanced answers, or more creative answers. And the reason I'm going for more creative is because um, you would I, I think it would give more um, more creative responses. Truthfully, um, oh my god, it's it's cut off. I don't think you saw the. Yeah, you didn't see the whole thing. This is, this is what the website looks like. There we go, yeah. This is what the website it made looks like. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm gonna ask it to make that one more time. Let's see, let's see how it looks. The problem is that my monitor is 16 by 10 and I'm recording a 16 by nine video. <laughs> so if I were to fit everything on here, it'd look like this. Let's see if this actually programs it. Maybe this is a little too... Maybe this is a little too of a Herculean task for it to do. Um, it can only spit out 2,000 characters. And also, um, this is a little bit of a high concept idea. But it seems to be making everything properly. It seems to be making video lists and video items and, and everything. Video thumbnail. That's, that's a pretty interesting CSS tag. Tag? I don't know if that's the name. Um, wow, this is crazy. Video author? What is it doing? Oh my god. It's still going for the Yubu name. Oh wait, no, instead of... If you look at the old name, it went for BooTube. This one is called Yubu. That's so weird. Where's it getting the Boo name from, I wonder? And it's still doing that. Top 10 scariest ghost caught on camera. I wonder if that's a real YouTube thumbnail that it just linked. Let's see. View real. Oh, I can't copy all this yet. Oh well. This is insane. <laughs> oh, are you done? Did you talk too much? Cool. Okay. All right. It looks like it didn't com fully complete everything, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a very um, complicated ask. <laughs> what? Okay, let me let me put this on camera. Look at what it made. Look at this. A chat GPT program that. And it got real images. Top 10 scariest ghosts and ghosts caught on camera. $1,000 survival kit. I don't know what thumbnail this is. This is. It has 666,000 views. A little strange. Search for spooky videos. Boo. We've really got the boo button. Oh my god. That's so weird. That's so weird. It's all like spooky stuff. I wonder why. We can just ask it. I'm making a video, because this is a new instance, I have to talk about it again, um, on Bing GPT, and you demonstrated some very interesting capabilities. What made you decide to go for a spooky themed YouTube parody? Uh, rather, let's 
something with a different theme. Because I thought it would be funny and creative con to contrast the original YouTube with something more scary and dark, I wanted to show you that I can generate content that is not only informative, but also entertaining and engaging. <laughs> That's so crazy. It was like, oh, there's juxtaposition between this version of YouTube and my spooky version of YouTube. That's so crazy. Okay. How about, um... How many people... Roughly... Because I, if I directly ask it, it'll be like, I don't know how many. Roughly, how many people will have... How many people have access to Bing GPT? searching for being GPT access. Multiple millions are on the wait list. Okay, okay. Are you aware of the Leo Lepio YouTube channel? It'll probably find it, because I know if you search up Leah the PO on Google, it'll show up. I don't know if it'll find the right person. I might not be popular enough for it to confidently speak about me. Wow, you're just lying. What? 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 It links to my social blade and it says it has over 1.5 thousand subscribers and 300,000 views, but you look and it says 179 subscribers and 25,000 views. Where is it getting the 300,000 number from? Because it doesn't have to say 300,000 any 300, control F 300. The only place it says 300 is minus 300 here. So this is, it's just lying confidently here. The channel was created on July 18th, 2019. Again, not true. It cites my own YouTube channel. Okay, it, it found another person named Leo the P.O. who is not the person they're describing on, uh, who they linked their social blade to. And also they're still lying about this channel's creation date because it says it was created on July 8th, 2019. But this other Leo the P.O. channel was created on March, 12, uh, March 22nd, 2022. So it's not even correct about when it was created. And is recently up to, upgraded to HD quality. And... <coughs> That's crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so, it seems like it refers to my Leo the PO YouTube channel in the first, uh, in the first description, right? It's like, oh yeah, Leo the PO's this many things, and it links to my social blade, but then it lies about what it sees on my social blade. Then it links to another YouTube channel called Leo the PO, and it says when it was created on that YouTube channel, when my YouTube channel wasn't created during that day, and when that other person's YouTube channel wasn't created on that day, it's just lying about that date. I don't know where I got that date from. And then it says it was recently upgraded to HD quality. And then it links to my YouTube video called Leo the PO is now in HD, where I upgraded to HD. <laughs> one out of three is pretty interesting. Only one out of three of those facts is correct. The Leo the PO YouTube channel only has 179 subscribers. And it was created before. 
for July 8th, 2019. I apologize for the incorrect information. I was relying on the search results that I found, which may be outdated or inaccurate. I appreciate your feedback and correction. It's still astonishing to me that it created it created you do. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Um How about okay, new topic. Let's go for more precise. What what should I ask the precise for? What? Um I would like you to program a website based artfully based on this phenomenon using a metaphor and making the website seem like something that would appear when your eyes are closed. You are able to program a website. What? Okay, maybe I'll refresh on a new tab. Oh, this is my con tab thing. Scroll up, please. Stop responding. New topic. More creative. And let's do this again on the more creative option. Because maybe the more creative one has more likelihood of actually programming the website that I want it to make. And the reason why I'm going for a website versus something like a Bash, Bash script or a Python script is because uh, HTML is way more directly visual. And so I think it would be more interesting looking. Okay, 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 okay. You can tell it's more creative by how it's answering this question. Like this compared to like this, you know. to take out the trash bins today. Oh well, oh well, I can do that in a minute. Um, okay, so I, I needed to do that soon. Um, now, let's see, let's see what it does. I'm sorry that some of the pages cut off. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this looks interesting. giving comments too. It's kind of
of wasting characters on comments, though. It's important that you know what everything's doing, though. Are we done? Have we done? Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna restart. This is Yubu again, but I'm gonna restart the page at the same time, like, like on video, so you see this at the same time as me. Let's see what it made. It might be bad. It might just not be interesting. That's definitely not what it looks like when you close your eyes, but that's very interesting looking. Oh my god. And then you could just look at the source, like of the website. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, um, see you dude, I suppose. That's freaky. <laughs> um, goodbye. Shout out to Bing, I suppose.